Can you see any? Can we see any larvae there? Or? Yeah, there's some. There's some seal. There's some seal right. brood here. Should I gonna, come around, or? Uh, I'll just kind of turn it into the turn it into the sun a bit. So I'll just uh, yeah. unless those bees out of the way. Okay, I'll zoom and, in. And uh, you can probably see the uh, significant color and uh, textural difference between the uh, between the, uh, the the tops of the sealed sealed brood. That's kind of got one. I'll bring it out in full sun. You can probably see it better. Yeah. You can see the the color and the textural difference. It's yeah. kind of got a cardboardy feel. Try a more uh, dried out look. More dried out, um, as opposed to, to the, the up here. You can see the, the sealed honey. the sealed honeycomb. And uh, that's uh, that's because the uh, the the uh, lids the coverings to the um, larvae to the larvae yeah, have, have propolis and, and bits of the silk incorporated into them. It gives it a little, a little different uh, texture. Uh -huh. So I think uh, we're probably not going to get too, mu too much farther into this, in, into the colony, uh, just because there's, we've seen just about everything there is to see. really to point out. Uh, we'll take, hopefully we'll see some, we'll see some, uh, unsealed brood on the next couple of frames and then we can uh, close this colony up. That's all we're really interested in right. seeing at this point. And, uh, because, we're, because we're getting into we're getting into fall now where there's not quite so many resources coming in, we wouldn't expect to see quite so much quite so much open brood. Right. And I, I haven't seen any. Yeah. If we were earlier in the earlier in the season I'd expect to see more I'd expect to see eggs or some kind of larvae in these bottom of bottom cells. of those empty cells. Yeah. But there's certain it's obvious that the queen is starting to cut back on on, uh, on her production of eggs in preparation for the uh, for the long dormant cycle that we experience here in the northern hemisphere, which is which is why bees go to the trouble of, of uh, putting all this honey aside. Yeah, putting all this honey aside and pollen aside in the first place. It's not for our benefit, it's for, for the benefit of the colony to get them through the long uh, dearth period, the long period of scarcity. That, uh, that they, in which they've evolved, and uh, through uh, our manipulation of the hive, giving them a nice, giving them a nice place to live, uh, certainly, certainly gets them that much farther ahead of the game, so that uh, they can they can produce a surplus that we can then collect and uh, and leave them also sufficient for. For their uses to get them through the, mm. through the long dark winters here. Heavy propolis load there. Yeah. Get some nice good, uh, nice good colonies here. Or, sorry, nice good homes here. Mm -hmm. Now another another uh, technique. If these were African bees, uh, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be leaving these uh, combs open this much. I'd be putting them tightly back together, and I'd also lie a damp a damp towel across the top to uh, to keep the bees from coming out, and also to keep the colony a little cooler. Because uh, if the colony is cool, then the bees won't be quite as uh, quite as nasty. Mm -hmm. I think we may be out of luck this time as of year to see any open, see any open larvae. larvae. Yeah. Uh, we're seeing quite a bit of quite a bit of seal seal brood, but uh, right. with no uh, no new stock. No, no new larvae. So so uh, Queen's Queen's reduced her her laying, mm. and uh, 
activity level. Yeah, maybe I'll take out this last. Just to get that strip just out. To get that strip. 